Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you with my Black Friday haul. I think I have a mega haul this year. So for the ones that I haven't tried yet, I'll just tell you what got me excited about them and just yay about them a little bit. Let's start with Inasi Naturals. I got the cleansing co-wash and the hibiscus leave-in. These are the ingredients. So this line just has really good ingredients and I see it on Instagram and I'm just super curious so I wanted to try it. I wanted to know if I was missing out and of course they had a good sale. So I did want to get more stuff. I think I got them on Melanin Shop. I didn't get them from the Anasi website and these were the only ones that they had on Melanin Shop that was also clean. So I believe that was the story with these. But I can show you a wash day with this, try to co-wash and try to leave it and let you know how it works out. So. That will be coming up. So the next thing I got was the Trail Look system, which is very interesting again because they don't have a deep conditioner. They expect you to cleanse and then put in a leave-in. So I really don't know about that one, but I'm gonna try it like they said and just let you guys know, you know, if it works for me <laughs> and if it has, if it might work for you, I guess. So it's really iffy to me, but I want to try it like that. And of course, I'm always curious about products. So even if in the future I decide to deep condition in between. Um, if the cleanser and leave-in and the styler is good, then I'll be happy. So this is the cleansing rinse. So I was kind of worried that it would be really stripping, but then if they don't even have a deep conditioner, then, you know, I hope it's not stripping. These are the ingredients. The sodium laurel methyl isyl on it is probably a surfactant, which I haven't really used in a cleanser before. So we'll see, and hopefully it's not stripping at all. Hopefully it's moisturizing and just bomb. So this line I was curious about just like Inasi but this also has some sort of tomato extract running through as a common ingredient so that was definitely interesting to me. So I was like let me see what this tomato fruit ferment is gonna do. So that's another reason I wanted to try it. One, the no DC system. Two, of course the good ingredients that's a given if I'm using it. And then three, the um, tomato business. So that could be one more thing going into my DIY tomato. This is the next step in their system, untie the knot, it's a leave-in conditioner. It does have some protein in there. It does have that tomato fruit extract again. It has coconut milk as well. So I guess we'll just see what it does for me. These are the ingredients. And last but not least is the Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. So they also have a serum which you can use instead of this. So it's kind of either or after the leave-in. But I haven't really started living that serum life yet. I'm not sure about that. So since I'm already not sure about the co-wash to leave-in and then I decided not to do two crazy things in one go so I got the jelly. The gel looks fine. Um, again, that tomato fruit extract which is interesting. They have xanthan gum as the gelling ingredient. Hopefully it could be a new staple gel or a new HG gel in addition to the other gels that I use right now that you know of, you know. Um, Camille Rose Curl Maker, Agafagi Curly Magic, Kinky Curly Curling, Custard Caravana, Baskin Bloom, Jane Carter. <laughs> so hopefully this could go on that pile. Not opening it yet, it's just a haul. I was almost gonna open it for you, but I caught myself. So I have this honey handmade. So she just, you know, I see her on Instagram kind of doing her thing. So I was like, let me just support her. So I got a deep conditioning mask and a curly jelly. So that's interesting, right? No leave-in. But these were the two that kind of stood out most to me. And I think when I get to the card, I usually kind of play around based on the shipping. Maybe I dropped some things, add some things. I think that's what happened here. But I definitely knew that these had ingredients I liked, although it's hard to see now with the wrapping. But I'll show you more in the review. I wanted to give that with these as the safest looking items um, from her brand. And then if I like these, branch out. So, it's a DC, it has aloe vera juice, it has honey. I'm there for it, you know. But we'll see in terms of the rest, because it doesn't seem to have any heavy like BTMS or any fatty alcohol. So we'll see. Looking forward to trying this one as well. I'm hoping I like her line because she seems to be of the people in terms of liking simple moisturizing ingredients, which is what I like. I just got this one thing for Moisture Love again from the Melanin Shop um, haul. And it is a replenishing conditioner. So, you know, this is supposed to be the Goshen to Hydration. It's supposed to be just like a super moisturizing brand and stuff. 
the ingredients didn't necessarily tell me super moisture like I don't it has sugar which is good but I don't see any honey or molasses or anything like that so it's supposed to be super moisture and I want to believe them and give it a try but the ingredients say moisture but I don't know about super moisture but we will see we'll definitely see so I was always curious to try this line I think I wanted to try their cleanser but I don't know if it wasn't on uh, melanin shop or what but I got this conditioner I think I'll probably try it as a leave-in because when I buy fancy conditioners I usually use it as a leave-in and of course I'll be doing a review on this so look out for that this is about the halfway mark I feel like we should have a little intermission because <laughs> like, I want so much stuff but I only buy on Black Friday or mainly unless a, like a new line comes out or something so this should get me through I mean this will get me through the year so we're good. I got this TGIN green tea super moist leave-in. This is one I cheated and I used it and I loved it so look out for that review coming up but I know some of my subbies were saying I should try this. I was a little bit hesitant. It goes water than BTMS so I was kind of like is the humectant high up enough but I think she's really the truth with her honey so I think like all of her products are super moisturizing so I definitely recommend this line. She does have silicones in a lot of things. I think this is probably the only silicone free thing. But you know if I tell you it's moisturizing, it's moisturizing. You know that. You know that. So this was good. Definitely recommend it. And it's up there in my huge HG leave-in pile now. I think I have like at least six HG leave-ins. At least. <laughs> um, which I will talk about more in my best of 2017 video but since I cheated this made it into my best of 2017 video which I haven't filmed yet but which is coming soon and hopefully will come in December but one of these are gonna be in January <laughs> um, not sure which one yet these are the ingredients so it goes water than BTMS which made me nervous but even though it is rich and creamy it's also really moisturizing so I think her honey is the truth like I said and I definitely recommend this brand for people who want moisture and I wish I could try more but like pretty much everything else has silicone so if you're out there TGIN owner please make a silicone free line for us curly girl method people thank you so we have curl origin and this is another one that I cheated on and I used it but I loved it the marula rich moisture hair milk which was great this is a leave-in and it was just, well, I used it as a leave-in and it was definitely a leave-in in terms of defining my curls and stealing my cuticles but also moisturized my hair really well. So this Curl Origin line, at least the ones that I tried so far, do have protein so this is another kind of protein rich line or protein rich option. These are the ingredients and you can see the hydrolyzed protein there as well. So I'm definitely getting some more protein containing HGs to kind of round out mustache so I'm happy about that and you'll see the full demo and review of this coming up soon but I got it <laughs> I loved it and yay the other one I cheated and I tried was this deep recovery conditioner it does mention nourish as well as repair and I guess it did that so if you look at the ingredients it has the hydrolyzed keratin so if you are one of those that look out for keratin, then this will be a good one for you as well. And this was actually super hydrating and super moisturizing as well. It actually reminded me of the She Scented Rich Moisture Mask. It was just a little bit creamier, so it was just as hydrating but also creamier. So the ones that I haven't tried yet from Curl Origin, the ones that I was good and waited to do the whole video first on. This Marula and Kiona Damage Control Reparative Conditioner. The others mentioned recovery and repair and had protein but didn't say protein treatment. So the fact that this one straight out says protein treatment means I'm going to put some respect on it and just use it as a protein treatment. And I definitely expect to love it. These are the ingredients. And you can see it has like all the moisturizing stuff, but it has Kiona protein, which I love. I prefer Kiona to wheat actually. It's just more moisturizing, I think. And then it has the keratin amino acids as well. Plus all the moisturizing stuff, the regular, beautiful, wonderful moisturizing stuff. So as you know, I love the she scented okra reconstructor. But if this deep recovery is similar to the rich moisture, then maybe this will be similar to the okra reconstructor. So next is the Coconut Kukui Double Moisture Overnight Mask. So this one I've actually seen reviews on YouTube and this is probably the only Curl Origin product that I've seen reviews on YouTube and everybody has been raving about it so I definitely expect to love it. I'm definitely not using it overnight because I don't really believe in 
you know, deep conditioning overnight. But I will use it in the day <laughs> and I will use it for at least an hour, maybe two, and let you guys know what I think of it. And I do expect to love it. Curl Origin is the sister line that she sent it and I love she sent it and I love Curl Origin so far so there's no reason I'm not going to love these as well. So these are the ingredients. It has marshmallow with and manuka honey so I'm pretty much good. Yeah. So that's it. That was my super big Black Friday haul. Definitely subscribe if you want to see all these great reviews because I will be using these and letting you guys know as the year goes on. So I'm super excited to be using all of this stuff, all this goodies, all this great stuff. Daisy's going to thank me. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you're interested in trying. And let me know which one you want to see first in terms of reviews. See you in the next one. Bye.